What's up everyone? Before I get into that question, I want to first talk about my portfolio. I love gold! Could today finally be the first green day of 2020? So when you trade options, having that first green day will sometimes be followed up with a wave of green days as data continues to decay. That's because as time passes, data decay accelerates as we get closer to uh, the expiration date. But markets are random and price moves. And sometimes a green day is just followed up with another red day. As long as we stay in highly liquid products, we can continue to manage our deltas and reduce the risk of erratic price movement. Overall, it's been a quiet past two days of trading. Gold and Tesla has continued to rally and long Vega plays in our portfolio has has been working nicely with an uptick in the VIX. The only three plays, uh, the only three trades we've had to make were adjust our Tesla position, adjust gold, and close our rep position for a $150 profit. Our portfolio is still recovering from the loss that occurred at the start of the year, but our positions look like they're starting to come in for a profit. I am sure to strangle position in gold futures so I've been paying attention to what the gold market, gold market is doing recently. So I don't, now I don't really pay attention to what gold has really been doing in the past or what, um, what's been going on in, in the news. But I do know that gold has been on a really strong rally. There's even talk of gold reaching all-time highs. The reason to believe that the momentum in gold is very bullish. What does it all mean? What does it mean to options traders? And why has there been more aggressive buying in gold? We're gonna look at a few possible reasons to why that is. So gold is scarce. Gold has a history of having extremely high value. Gold signifies achievement. Kings had gold crowns, first place in the Olympics, gets you a gold medal. Gold will always carry relatively high value among the other metals because of its color, the way it looks, the way it shines, and what it represents. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the Is that really the reason why gold is rallying? A lot of people think that gold has an inverse relation to the market. What that means is when the market is strong, then the gold prices might have less value. And when there's fear in the market, then people are have this fear of missing out and they start buying gold aggressively and the value of gold increases. However, historically, gold is in fact not inversely correlated to the market. Instead, it acts as more as a diversification play. So instead of, so instead of having a negative correlation to the market, it actually has a correlation of closer to zero. So then why do investors buy gold? Buying or trading gold provides investors diversification in their portfolios. More aggressive buying in gold recently. This could be telling us that investors are moving away their money from stocks, which could be why it seems that correlation to gold in the stock market is inversely correlated, which could be why that gold in the stock market seem inversely correlated. With more aggressive buying in gold recently, investors could be moving their money away from stocks, which could be the reason why it seems like gold in the stock market are inversely correlated as of late. But what does that mean to traders like me? Unlike the stock market, gold's risk is to the upside. No one knows how high gold can go. And as long as gold has those characteristics that I mentioned before, you can assume that gold will never go to zero. Therefore, fear, or FOMO in this case, and potential opportunity thus occurs when the price of gold goes up. As option traders, that means that volatility increases when the value of gold increases and option prices will be more skewed on the call side, providing us with an opportunity to sell rich calls. As I said, I'm short of gold strangle. 
This big rally as of late, I've had to roll up my puts because they've quickly become worthless. And to, my, and to reduce my risk to the upside, I've had to sell puts close enough to at the money where I would still feel comfortable, still hold even if gold reverses and begins to test the other side. So leave a comment if you agree or disagree. I'm trying to improve the quality of my blocks. So there's another reason for you to leave a comment in the comment section. Oh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Likes and subscriptions are completely free. So thanks and see you on the next one.